Okay guys, I was going to show you the uh, fabric that I painted. Look at that color. That is beautiful, isn't it? I just love those colors, but the, the thing is that as soon as I put this in water, it's going to all wash out. But I had really had a lot of fun, you know, painting this. I put it uh, on a washing line, wet, and then just drip paint on it, and they all sort of merged together. So beautiful. And I was thinking, ooh, what can I make with this? Like uh, a toiletry bag or something like that. But once it's wet, it just, you know, even your hands is totally covered in color. And I did this with... Um, the fluid watercolor so that's not <laughs> not very smart but the colors are beautiful they really are okay and this is um, the vase as you can see I tried to really get the uh, sort of ceramic look with the glaze on it And I painted the bottom darker and the rim I painted that darker just to show um, a sort of ombre coloring so it's light in the middle and then up and down that goes darker but I'm really proud of this this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever made And I still might put a few coats more on top of it. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. It is kind of glass looking, porcelain looking. It does look porcelain like porcelain porcelain like. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, thank you guys. Taking you inside now. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. The first thing I'd like to show you is um, th this person. Uh, first, we'll see the artist. This is her name. So if you want to look her up, uh, I'd advise you to go to this site that you see up here, adriansazoon.com. Um, they represent her and we'll look at her work this is so beautiful uh, I'll show this to you this one is sold but if you can see the detail in it it's a little bowl thing box with these beautiful flowers on top and everything is so delicately um, done it is beautiful I really love this that is beautiful. Then uh, this one is already sold. She sells a lot. Uh, view work. This one also sold. Everything sold. She sells a lot of uh, her work. I think people are really uh, in line to get something like this. But it is the most beautiful that I've ever seen. And I'm going to try to do this with air dried clay yeah let's see if we can find something that isn't sold oh no this one's sold also even on the inside some of these uh, bowls have the same uh, pattern as as the outside let's see That sold work in choir works for sale. Okay, let's see this one. Only uh, 5,300 pounds. That is $6,600 for this little tiny bowl, which has a height of 5 1 8 inch and a diameter of 6 1 4 inch. So it's tiny, but it's a lot of money. Let's go back. 
look at something bigger. Oh, this one is only 10,000. That's not much. Look how beautiful that is. Takes a lot of time to make these. Let's see a little. Oh, that one's beautiful. Look at that. That is so beautiful. This is um, $14,000. Going once, going twice. Sold. But look at that. How beautiful that is. That is. Oh, I wish I just could make that. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna go try and do this. I've already ordered um, silicone because um, I tried to do it like she did. I, I was really uh, into this so I, I tried to figure out how she did it and then I came across a... Uh, let's see if I can get you to that. She has uh, videos on YouTube Let's see if I have her. No, I don't have her anymore. Why don't I have her anymore? Let's see. Hitomi. Hitomi. Hosono. She has a lot of uh, videos on YouTube. You could look her up. And um, if you look at all the videos, you sort of get into how she um, makes it. Uh, there's another... Oh, there I, there I am with my plaster cast. Uh, there was one video where she works with Wedgwood. And they showed how they make those little flowers. I can't find it right now. Eh. Not that one. It was one with tiny little little flowers. Let's see if we can do wedge wood. Wedge wood. Yeah, this one. Let's see. My name is Hitomi Hosono. See I make ceramics. This one. This. See, they the have these molds. Wedgwood. That's where they put the clay in. And, and then they take it out. So she makes like 600 of those. With the and then she aesthetic. rearranges them on the vase. Is so that's how, how they do it. Can you see it again? With all these little flowers. Japanese this is how they put they them on the vase. The as they Some are on these the little uh, little when you see the flower, it's pegs so that the flowers pop up. Looks like falling that is really, more really moving. beautiful. So um, check but her I out because look at that. See that? That's a little raised thing and then he puts the flower on top of that. Give it a see how he does that? On the pieces. But of course uh, this is not air dry clay, but I'm guessing you can do it with air dry clay. It archives, won't be as delicate and as smooth and as fragile and small, but you can I do something you, like this with air dry clay, no, uh, no problems to, to try it. With new creativity and very open to the new idea. Now we're going to go to the real estate in Holland. So we're going to go a little close to Amsterdam region. Let's see. Oh no, that's only something that is 14 square meters. That's like 60 square foot. They can't even live in that. Don't even know what it is. Let's see. Or is it a garage or something? Don't know what it is, but you can't live in that. So we got to go somewhere where you can live in. Let's see here. That's 12 square meters. That's nothing. Well, this is like um, 93 square meters. That'll be uh, 300 square foot. Uh, at the water, that's kind of nice. And look how old it looks inside. Oh, they did a nice job remodeling, putting um, the modern stuff in. That looks beautiful. 
look at the at the top the ceiling that is beautiful I love that I could live here but not for that money though you have to sleep in the attic because it's really small but you are really close to the water there it is that's the house that's a uh, a nice picture of Holland and that's the house there in the middle but you have to pay 528,000 euros <laughs> that's a lot of money for a little uh, for 93 square meters 300 square foot that's way over the top that's so much money but it's sort of uh, that's what's going on uh, in Holland the real estate is uh, really uh, crazy at the moment uh, let me get rid of the filter these are all for sale uh, then you get an overload if you don't use filters there's so many houses that are for sale at the moment let's see uh, we'll do the last five days I think there are a lot of people on this site today because it's just not loading like it should let me try one more time to load it up again nope it's um, usually like this in the weekends because a lot of people are looking for um, a house in the weekends you can go away I don't think it's gonna work today give it one more try I'll just click on anything here well this is a, a typical Dutch house as you can see the, the houses are built all next to each other uh, these are two front doors so you know it's just a, a row of, of houses and that's how people live it's kind of nice don't like the kitchen that much and I don't like the open stairs but other than that it's you could live in this this is nice toilet I like the toilet there's the bathroom a little bit small especially if you have your washing machine and dryer in there there's a little office going on there that's a, a bedroom bedroom bathroom TV in the bathroom whoa <clears throat> and that's the garden no grass so that should be easy but then again for that amount of money that's half a million that's a lot of money for 118 square meters that is about uh, 390 square foot yep so like I said it's it's crazy it's really going nowhere and uh, now the the uh, mortgage rates are going up they have doubled in the last six months so people are really getting nervous and um, they're just you know don't know what to do buy a house sell the house don't sell the house they have no clue this is uh, a typical Dutch oh that's nice has water also we have a lot of uh, houses that you know are next to water or close to water a little kitchen very modern little living room nice oh, it's a nice house big uh, bedroom another bedroom 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 bathroom not too bad 
but not for that much money. Look at that. That's 700,000. It's 160 square meters, which is about 550 square foot. That's a lot of money. Okie dokie. So let me close that one. And um, well, I already talked about the uh, the gas prices. It's a 9.82, so 9 euros 82 cents for a gallon. That comes down around about ten dollars, ten dollars thirty, something like that. That's a lot of money for a gallon of gas. So um, it's all in the news as usual. And uh, now we're starting to um, they're starting to talk about uh, the um, oh um, I forgot how you call that let's see um, translate I want to look it up uh, Dutch yep um, stick stuff this oh yeah nitrogen where these are uh, we have a lot of cows for the milk because we make a lot of cheese we drink a lot of milk uh, we don't have that much cattle for uh, beef or, you know, to eat. We usually import that. So the thing is that our uh, cows that produce the milk, of course, they shit a lot, I guess. And that's what they say is causing the nitrogen levels to go up. And... Um, they're not talking about the cars, no. They're talking about the farmers and the cows. So what they're going to do, uh, and the farmers over here are really, really upset because they want to tell some farmers in, in areas of Holland where the nitrogen levels are really high, they're going to tell them to sell the, the farm and the animals and just go do something else. Now, they're going to try and do that, you know, like voluntarily. But if no one wants to do that, they're going to just come in, sell your farm and your animals, give you the money, and tell you to piss off. <laughs> really. And the farmers are really, they are, they are so mad because they've already put in, in, in a chart where the highest levels are. And like one of the islands of Holland, I'll show you which one. One of the islands has to reduce the nitrogen by 95%. That's a lot. 95%. And I'll zoom out here where you see this is Holland. And where my little arrow is, that little island there has the most nitrogen. And the funny thing is, there's not a farmer on the whole island. And there are no cars because you can't take your car to that island. You, yeah, If you go on vacation there, you get on the boat and you can uh, rent bikes, bicycles, because you can't take your car, it's not allowed. So, and there's no farmers on, on this, this island. So, look at it. It's nothing. There's nothing there. See that? That's all nature things. There's a camping, you can camp there with a tent. Few homes here. But that's it. And no one can take their car. So how, how does the nitrogen get there? Now, we do have a really big uh, company, Tata Steel. That's what it's called. I'll go find it for you. I think that black, f yeah, that's it. Look at that. This one produces so much of that nitrogen it's unreal. It, this one produces the most nitrogen in the whole of Holland, and they can just do what they want. And the bad thing is, it's not even Dutch. It's Japanese. It's a Japanese company, because Holland just doesn't let them pay taxes. They don't have to pay taxes. And I don't know what the deal is. I don't want to get into that any further, because, you know, getting into too much of that... Um, I did a, a, a year ago, I would get into stuff like that, but it's uh, so depressing. I don't want to do that. It really ruins your mood, and you can't do anything about it, and you just have to let it go. 
unless a lot of people are going to demonstrate, and then I'll demonstrate with them. But uh, <laughs> and so close to the to the ocean, that is, people around here, people that live around this factory. Um, this is a steel factory. People that live around here, like here, this place, Vacancy, uh, they have the highest uh, people of uh, amount of people that have lung cancer and all kinds of cancers. It's it's unreal, and they the government will do nothing about it. They just act like there's nothing going on there. So it's that thing and this one. This one is even worse. And the. Even these few white plumes, you should see it uh, during the day, because now it looks like there's nothing going on. Tata steel, and I'll give you a little idea of what it looks like. Uh, let's see when it's really, really at its worst. There you go. Look at that. Does that look healthy? I don't think so. And then this is from the newspaper, and it says here, the director of Tata Steel admits that they were really slow on getting this stuff cleaned up. So uh, he admits it, and it's not even Dutch. That's the bad thing. So um, let's close that and go on to better things. Goodbye, Tata Steel. And what I would like to show you is um, just one more thing about the ceramic stuff. Oh, and uh, this uh, tonight, this evening, Max Verstappen, he has pole position. He's going to race. I hope he wins. I really do. So um, what I uh, what I saw was a really, really cool video about some sort of... Eh, no, it's gone. It was on the uh, front page, but I didn't save it, so, yeah, well, it's gone. Gone forever. Oh, no, you have something that is like history. And uh, this one, that was it. Look at that. Is that not the most beautiful thing? I can't help it. I've got to have one of those turn pottery turning tables. I've got to have one. Look at that. I just love it. And she tells you exactly how she makes it, uh, how she gets this effect, uh, how to do it, and then how she colors it, and then in the end, how she puts this little lid on top. So here she has the lid, which she will be uh, putting a sort of luster on, that is gold. Let's see where she puts it on. It is so beautiful. Let's see. And here you can see um, if you want to look at it yourself. If you type this into uh, this YouTube, look at that. How beautiful that gold is. She is really good. I'm gonna go and see if she if she gives workshops. I'd like a workshop. That would be really cool. Okay, peoples, I'm going to hang up now. Um, hang up now. It's like I'm talking to you on the telephone. Uh, if you want to know anything else uh, that's going on... Ooh, wow. If you want to know anything else what's going on in Europe, uh, you're um, furious about something, just let me know. Put it in the comments, and I will address it in a later video. So thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.